Hey guys, story time. The this. Pro the <laughs> you got this. Go. The pros and the cons of traveling solo. A few people have actually asked us like, hey, I wanna go traveling, et cetera, et cetera, but I don't have like a solid group of friends that I can go with, so I gotta go by myself and I've never been anywhere. It's kinda scary, like what's the deal? Where should I go? Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Should I wait until I get people to come out with me, et cetera, et cetera. Parker is the king of traveling solo. He likes it, maybe even better than traveling with us. Do you like it better? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like he does like there are, better. There are times, sure. Certainly. Because when you're solo, you do whatever the flipping you want. So right now, I am by myself in the middle of nowhere in Peru, and I feel great. I couldn't be happier. So that's the thing. Let's uh, we'll, we'll break it down a little bit. So some of the pros are, yeah, you are free to do whatever you want. There's no group mentality of, oh, should we do this, should we do this, maybe this, maybe not. You pick what you want to do, you do it, and there's no one to tell you otherwise. Really. The bigger your group is, the slower you move. Always. Parker, he has a hard time dealing with a group of like five or more. He just really wants to do things. I'm and get good them at done. getting up and going really quickly. I don't need to brush my hair and powder my nose, I just... You're only as fast as your slowest link. Getting stuff done quick, more quickly and more efficiently is also a pro of traveling solo. Forces you to kind of get out of your shell and be a bit out of the box. I mean, you, it depends on the kind of person you are, but like... Development, for sure. Typically, if you're staying at hostels, you're gonna, meet, you're gonna have to kind of be social with strangers more than you would if you were with a group of friends. Or the that friends way. that you make, you have better connections with. Mm -hmm. Like, say you're with a group of, of, you know, a couple friends, and you meet somebody, you're all going to be chatting with this person, and you have now limited time to socialize or whatever with this person. If it's just you, you're the only one conversing, get to know them better, better friendships, perhaps, who knows. So the cons. Traveling solo, well, scarier. Yeah, it's probably more it's, dangerous. It's lonely. You won't have any friends sometimes. Sometimes you'll be all alone on a train going somewhere. It is lonelier, but like that's that's potential for a pro because now you're gonna meet more people. And but it, it also whatever, depends on how social and outgoing you are as a person. Never been an issue for us, but not everyone is like us. Personally, I'm not a big fan of traveling solo. I like being with friends. It's more expensive traveling solo, like... You save money on transport and, and like, ac accommodation. Those are the first two things that you'll save more money as a group. A really smart thing that we started doing, we kind of learned later in our travels, is that you can save money by putting, like, four of you in one big hotel room and have a great, nice amenity to sleep in. Two queen beds? And it's cheaper than laughing. four of you in one hostel. Mm -hmm. Group rates are usually better. Or what's the trick that Riker always does, I feel? We all want to do something and so he walks up solo and he'll ask someone, hey, how much is it for this? And they'll give you a price and then he says, right. okay, what if we get four, four of activities. those? What's a better deal? Anytime yeah. we do any transport or activities or anything, Riker will try and negotiate some kind of group discount deal. Four people. Well, well, sell out 150. All right, that's like 150 $3. sold. And often it works. It works like yeah. if if you say, okay, well, I'm gonna bring four people instead of just me. Can we get a group rate or a better deal or discount or whatever? And that usually will fly. So that's another bonus with being in a group. What about you? Do you prefer solo? You've done a lot of solo and a lot of group. You know what? I would start with group for around. sure because you kind of. It's easier to get your bearings doing the travel thing with your friends and with other people around you because that way you guys have time to discuss or debate or just kind of like weigh out your options instead of kind of talking to yourself and talking through it and trying to decide what the best bet is. Two brains better than one. You know what I think? Honestly, I don't know if I prefer anything. A good mix of both. Mm. Travel with your friends for a while and go do a solo trip. It kind of like clears the animosity that you might have had or whatever and then you can start fresh again. All right, so it's not for everyone, but it is for some people. It will get you out of your comfort zone. Don't knock it till you try it. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Comment is the last one. What's your travel solo story? Where have you been? What have you done? What have you seen? If it happens there and it only stays there, then don't tell us.
It's like crooked. No, man. No, that's not straight. It is. That's it. It sure looks crooked. Though. I know it does, doesn't it? You can take a look. Go take a look. Just get it out of your... No, 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 you should not have done that. Go take a look. Um...